Okay, what is going on, you guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am going to be telling you guys a story about the time I saw one of my friends sucking dick on my other friend's phone. Well, I'm not friends with the person whose phone it was on anymore. But let me tell you guys about the story. Okay, so basically this video starts off at one of my friend's family members' um, birthday parties or something. She invited us to come with her because she didn't want to be the only, like, you know, person who was around our age to go there. And basically who was there was, it was me, her, and this other guy who was, like, you know, part of our friend group at the time. So basically, um, the person who invited us to go to the party with her, um, she wanted the person, the other guy who was with us to take a picture of her on his phone. And she saw the picture and she immediately did not like the way the picture turned out. So she went to go and delete it. And when she deleted it, it swiped to a video on his phone. I don't, I don't understand how, but it literally swiped to a video Oh, wait, no, my camera roll. <laughs> it swiped to a video on his phone, and literally, like, before, like, the video played, you could literally see a girl, and it was, like, a, you know, she was, like, so immediately after seeing, I'm like, I don't know where my fucking light is, but we're just gonna have to deal with this lighting, because, yeah. So, um, immediately after seeing the picture before the video plays, she shows it to me and I started freaking out because that was my other friend and the guy in the video, the guy who, the guy whose phone the video was on did not know that we saw it and he was going out with my other friend who was actually not at the party at the time. I forget where they were. I think, actually I think this was like over the summer so they, they were home or whatever. So, um, after seeing that, she showed it to me, and I started freaking out, and literally, we both ran outside with his phone, and then he followed us, because we had his phone, obviously, and he was like, what's going on, what's going on, because, like, he wanted to know, because we had his phone, and we were both, like, screaming, and eventually, he got his phone back from her, and he was like, oh my god, I can't believe you guys saw that, and we were like, oh my god, I can't believe you recorded her doing that because, like, that was supposed to be in private. Like, you don't record that because what if somebody goes on your phone and then they post it or send it to somebody else because that doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, I'm just trying to get some light. What if they, like, post it somewhere? Like, that doesn't make any sense at all. So, literally, we were like, oh my god, play the video, play the video. But, you know, we were obviously joking. And he goes, nah, you guys have to show me something first if you guys want to see this. And immediately, I was taken aback because I was like, you would play the video for someone else who wasn't your girlfriend? Like, what sense does that make for you to play the video when you and her both did that in secrecy? Even though y'all wasn't secret at all, y'all was actually really nasty. Like, he said um, to, um, for us to show him um, something of us, like, or of us doing a sexual act, I was like, wait. I don't do that I really don't do that and my friend who invited us to the party actually had a boyfriend at the time and she was like yeah 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 but like she was obviously joking she wasn't really gonna show him nothing so um he was like showing he was like ah oh, no come on you gotta show us a bit you gotta show me something if you want to see the um, video and I was like all right never mind and I needed a ride home because this was like all the way on the other side of town literally this was all the way on the other side of town and I needed a ride back to my fucking house. And the only way I was going to get a ride home was if I went to his house and he dropped me off or whatever. Because, like, you know, his brother was going to drop me off because this nigga can't drive. Um, um, so, yeah, he was going to, like, have his brother give me a ride. And as soon as I got there, I was literally at his house for legit two hours on a school night. My mom was so mad when I got home. But, like... I feel like I'm so loud right now, but I literally, I was there for like two hours and I was literally just trying to go home. I was tired. I was about to take off my hair piece. I was legit just over everything that happened. And later on, he just goes, like he brings it up. Like I wasn't talking about it. Like we really weren't talking about it. But he goes, if you want to see the video, um, you have to show me something first. Like, come on, man, show me something. And I was like, first of all, why are you trying to see what we're doing when you have a whole girlfriend? Like, you need to 
get your situation together because you're doing too much right now. Like, literally, you're doing too much. <sighs> Being the person I am, you know, I was scheming. I was really scheming out here. I was really scheming because, like, you know me, I'm scheming. I bet. So, I really went on Google, and I pulled up a fake picture, and I showed it to him. You know, one that was obviously believable. So, I, I pulled up a fake picture, and I showed it to him, and he literally pulled out his phone to text his girlfriend, and he asked her if he could show me the video. And I was like, oh, shit, because it's really about to go down because she doesn't know that we know that she suck a dick on his phone and that she was recorded. I don't even know if she knew that she was being recorded because this boy is so, he's so manipulative. So, oh my God, it's on my phone to face. But he is so manipulative. So I don't know if she even knew. Okay, so right after he texted her and asked her if he could show us or show me the video, she blocks him because she was like, if you show them, I'm literally not going to talk to you. And then she blocks him because he was going to show him. He's like, I'm going to show him. And he literally didn't even show me anything. Like, he, she was blocking him. And they weren't speaking. He started freaking out. And I was like, so am I going to get a ride home? Because I've literally been here for almost three hours now. Like, who's going to give me a ride home? Like, I was just trying to figure out how I was going to get home so I didn't get in trouble. And... I was literally there for three hours because this boy, after she blocked him, he literally sat on the floor for like 30 minutes, waited for his brother because him, him, his brother had somebody upstairs and, you know, they was doing the nasty. So, you know, you know how people are. Literally, the story wasn't even over the summer. It was during the school year. Like, I remember because, yeah, so this was during the school year. Like, I think this was like a weekend that I went to this party and we went to this party or whatever. And... The next school day, I think it was like Monday. Okay, so basically, um, we were going to our last class of the day. And I was in a class with her. And he was in the hallway. And he was trying to, you know, lean back her or whatever. And whatever. And stuff like that. And he was trying to win her back or whatever. He was trying to make her not mad at him or whatever. And we were all in like the hallway. And we were going to class. And literally um one of his friends said something slick to me so you know me like i wasn't gonna do nothing actually but like i started walking up to his friend and then he grabbed me from behind because it was i was in the middle his friend was over here and then he was like behind me or whatever and he grabs me and he literally shook me and he, he was like i could literally kill you right now i said you know what don't touch me I'm done. I'm not your friend anymore. Don't ever touch me again because I'm never going to be in a situation where I'm going to put myself through that. And I literally told him that. I told his girlfriend that. I told all of my friends that. I don't fuck with him no more because he did that. And, like, he literally lost all his chances. So if you want to be friends again, we can't. Literally, I don't know why he's trying to say sorry now because he wanted to hang out with all of us. And I said, you know what? I don't fuck with you and this other bitch. So I don't know why you guys are trying to make two group chats with me like we are friends or something. I'm not friends with either of you. After that class, um literally they met up his girlfriend and him they met up and they had like an argument or something and he broke up with her i don't understand why he broke up with her and literally she goes out and punches a wall i was like girl what are you doing she literally went out and punched the wall because she was so upset. I was like, girl, literally, you need higher standards because this boy is a mess for one. And you know damn well, you know damn well, you know damn well, you could do better. You know you could do better. Like, girl, you could do better. And then I went up to her and I told her after they had an argument because she was being so fake to me and she was ignoring me. And I was like, you know what, bitch, I'm not going to put myself through this because I literally went up to her and I said, you know what, bitch, I went through this already and with my other friend where I lost her over a boy and literally we're not friends because she wanted to be so fake and then she didn't want to be my friend anymore over him. So I told her straight up, bitch, if you want to act like that, I could drop you so quick. It's not even going to be a problem. And she was like, I know, I know, I know. I'm not going to be fake anymore. And she was so upset because they broke up. And that's understandable because like, that's like her, you know, man, man, whatever. Everybody man, but <coughs> that's none of my tea to spill. So after school, after the whole tobacco with me trying to, you know, tell her how I felt about the whole situation, um, 
they had like another conversation over like Facebook Messenger because she has some ghetto ass Android that didn't work. But you know, I'm not trying to play her right now or anything like that. But oh, the lighting's better over here. Let me move over. Anyways, um, so they had a whole argument and they were like, I hate, he was like saying, I hate him. He played me. He this, he that, he did all that. I don't know why they brought me up in the whole conversation for one, because the whole situation didn't have to happen because you know damn well we were joking. I didn't want to see her out here. Do I look like I needed to see that? Do I look like I needed to see that? Girl. 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 Like... Do I look like I needed to see that? <sighs> and he was saying he hated me. He this, he that. He um, Whenever he sees her, all he sees is me because she's turning into me. I was like, what? That None of this shit makes sense. And he was talking about some da-da-da, suppress your feelings. You don't, you, you're, um, I don't, I don't want to say it because like, I don't want to come across as, you know, being racist or anything, you know, because I'm not racist. I have black friends. Um. <laughs> Stop. Um, but he was like, da da da. I'm not gonna say his name. Let me make up a name. He was like, Jeremy, suppress, da da da, suppress your Negro emotions or whatever, something like that. I don't have the group chat anymore because I deleted Facebook Messenger. Who has Facebook Messenger anymore? But I deleted it, and he was talking about, da da da, I don't like him, I hate him, this and that. I hated him from the beginning, but, oh no, let me not, let me not, let me not. Um, but, um, yeah, and I was just like, girl, you don't need that. You really don't need that in your life. And that was just, like, it, to be honest. Like, I don't talk to him anymore. Like, he's still trying to hit me up, trying to be friends or whatever. But every time he do that, I'd be like, I don't like you. I'm not hanging out with him. You can literally ask all my friends. I don't fuck with him at all. I don't fuck with a whole bunch of people from school. Because, you know, I was that bitch then, and I'm that bitch now. Like, if you have a problem... You're not going to say anything to me because you're not going to. But, <sighs> damn. Okay. So that's the end of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, I will be back with some more videos. By the way, that's my sister over there. You can, She literally looked like a shadow because she keep picking her head up. But, yeah. Yeah, that's the end of this story. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I will be back with some more story times. And, yeah. Bye.